Hi everybody, welcome back to the stream. I'm back with some more Deadly Premonition. Yay! Uh, last time we, we got through the town meeting. And, yeah. Things are just gonna start getting really good. Well, it's all good, but <laughs> this is when a lot of people start really getting into the game. Previously during the investigation, these puppies are making me go to another. Oh, it's still the same. Well then, Agent York, do you have any plans for this evening? I was going to head back to the hotel and go over my notes. Hello, oh, Dan. How's it going? I need to going? contact HQ and give a progress report, too. Okay, and let's call it a day here. Sounds good. Contact my office when you finish your report. We'll pick you up tomorrow morning. Diane, the owner of the art gallery, should be back soon. All right, then. Let's do that. Oh, my goodness. We have to go to dinner with them. Uh, hold on, Agent York. We're going out to eat at Nick's Hi, Fry Fraud. How's it going? Come with us? The diner. That might be nice. Thomas is a great cook, but Nick is the Just real deal. Just time for the dinner conversation. No visit to Greenvale is complete without eating at the A&G. A very appealing proposition. Zach, what do you think? We can always go back to the hotel after eating dinner. Or go directly back to the hotel. You decide, Zach. Let's eat with them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pizza Gamer. I'm glad you liked it. Yay! I'm glad you liked it too, Fraud Fraud. <laughs> I've been sheriff here for a long time now. And this is the worst murder I've ever seen. Our town is a little odd in some ways, but it's usually a peaceful place. We had our fair share of cases. But just the regular stuff. A high school kid shoplifting from the milk barn, maybe? Or some hot-headed kids fighting, fueled on liquor? Nothing more than that. Agent York, what kind of cases have you dealt with in the past? Not much different from those you've just mentioned. The case I was on until last month, well, the guy killed seven girls in a three-month period. He sawed their heads off from the neck and took it them back to his house. It does sound like a house. really uh, he cleaned cozy the skulls up and used them as too bad that in his daily a murder life happens in it. <laughs> eat from or I'm so excited for the good life. As a urine cup. Huh. He hated women. That was his way of dealing with it. He'd fill skulls with ice, cola, and rum. Then he'd down it in one gulp. For him, that was a holy ritual. The question of his mental state was the pivotal point in the court case. Oh, man. For me, he was insane. A hundred percent. Drinking from the skulls. Well, that is one thing, but... But those he had used to relieve himself, he would then just use them to drink from, too. Yeah, that was too much for me. It's just not sanitary. <clears throat> <clears throat> not sanitary? Uh, that's probably not the problem for most of us. What else? Ah, yes. An ingenious law school student raped over 800 victims. That was a nasty one. Thank you, Agent York. Now, let's talk about something else. You don't want to hear any more? That's a shame, isn't it, Zach? I was just about to get to the good part, too. Sounds like you live in a totally different world. I mean, you're like an elite agent who just yes, jumped it out does. from a movie well, I guess it or depends something. On in your eyes, we must look like we're just playing cops and like, robbers. Oh, he did say women, so uh, an adult give woman. Up. So I, I guess it would be still pretty with you. big. Don't say that, Emily. The cases you have solved are all full-fledged crimes. A crime is a crime. Oh my Size god! Ew, ew! There is no big and small. Oh my god! <laughs> Crimes always have a, a criminal. That's an awful thing to walk into. <laughs> and a victim. No victim. Was the guy on something? 
no matter what its size. So fundamentally, there is no difference in size. Well said, Agent Morgan. We work day and night to preserve peace and order in this town. You understand that, right? Of course, but still, I don't view shoplifting and Anna's murder as the same level of crime. Me, oh, I forgot to change neither. your suit. Oh, well, I'll do I it I never tomorrow. even dreamt that such a thing could ever mm. even happen in this town. <laughs> I keep on expecting to see Anna here in this diner, waiting on tables. So who called, <laughs> who called the police on the tenant? Like, was he, what did he do to Excuse get the police's us, attention? Agent Morgan, we should have made dinner a more uplifting experience. Let's call it a night. Okay. Uh, Good oh night. my goodness. So he had, he had a stockpile of it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that is so gross. I know there's a medical condition where people will eat their um, feces, but I don't remember what it's called. <clears throat> kind of like the same people who would uh, put ran uh, eat random objects. It's like, I think, in the same vein. Okay. So, um, there's a lot we can do in this chapter. We have a bunch of new people. Well, not a bunch, but a, a few new people to meet. Uh, and... I put out my Rainy Woods video today, and I actually get to show you guys something that's from Rainy Woods that's still in Deadly Premonition. It's just a small something, but I still... Oh, I always run into this. Well, besides the Rainy Woods Realty and Usha's name tag, there's actual Rainy Woods content that I found by accident years and years ago, but I was very excited when I did. Oh, I could have used the radio. Zach, we can take a rest if you're tired. Oh, well, I'm committed now. We're going to drive there. Thomas's apartment at this time on a clear day it, when it's raining uh, it's it doesn't work you can hear the piano solo version of the original song that Carol would sing that you only hear in the trailer for Rainy Woods. I, I still don't understand why they, they changed it. I, I prefer this song over Miss the Little Heels. It also kind of fits because in this version of the song, she's talking about singing to somebody behind a door that no one knows about and there's a, that hidden room <clears throat> in the bar. And she's like facing towards that door. It just, I don't know. It just seems to fit. Okay. So, yeah, this is the only chapter you can hear this. Otherwise, you'd hear probably uh, Miss Stiletto Heels and sometimes a jazz track that plays when you fight uh, Thomas. Okay. Oh, you got all you got all the Twin Peaks. Very cool. Okay. So, now that we met everybody, we can go uh, meet Carol at the bar. We can also meet uh Lysander and Wesley. Diane's still, Diane's still not in town. So, before we go see Carol, let's... Uh, let's go see Wesley. 
Actually, no, I'll wait to see Wesley. Uh, let's see... Lysander. Because I can get two more cards. Hi, Jim! Thank you! I hope your long week was nice, too. It was cool. It was a nice break from work. Uh, Pizza Gamer, where did you get the box set from? to the bar. Yeah, it's closed. Hmm. Forgot how to drive for a moment there. Hmm? No, nothing. Just my imagination. Oh, whoa, I just passed it. Oh yeah, we could we could talk to Brian as well. Actually let's talk to Brian. Sander. And then Wesley, and then we'll go to the bar. FYE? Okay. Driving is terrible tonight. I keep running into things. There's no grave markers. Do schools teach students like uh, first aid, how to act? Well, we have drills, but I don't remember ever. I mean, there are classes you can take like first aid and stuff like that outside of school but i i was i never had a a unit in class or whatever that would teach you how to do the first aid and <laughs> did that uh, dan did that convince them to try it out york's driving conversations okay so there should be some grave markers here but for some reason on windows 10 uh they disappear sometimes they pop back in but most of the time they don't. <laughs> so just pretend there's some grave markers. Oh, thank you, Buster Sword Boy, for the host. Hey, Brian. Uh, hello. I can't sleep. Have not long time. Too sad to sleep. Oh, that's too bad. Okay. Speak of the devil. There we go. <laughs> they came back. Hello, grave markers. Did I get the card here? Okay. Couldn't remember if I did or not. This grave has been dug up. Why would anyone do such a thing? Oh. Aw, oh, who who said it sucked? Poor shame. Okay, can I just leave then? Oh, maybe I could talk to Brian. Uh, hello. Oh, I guess a side mission isn't available right now? Okay. I mean, there's like home economics, but I don't think first aid was really taught. Well, there's like health class, so I assume, you know, the basics were kind of given during health class, but I don't remember just a single course. Like an elective or anything that you could take. Yeah. 
we're gonna meet with Lysander, find out what he knows about the raincoat killer. Absolutely nothing. We get to hear some more stories. Hmm? No, nothing. Just my imagination. But we want to get York's car, so we need to listen to him. Surprisingly, a lot of people don't realize uh, they can buy different cars. I know a lot of people just stick with the police patrol car, but you can buy basically almost everyone's car in town who has like a specialized car. You can actually buy it from the general. <laughs> ah, there you are. You came at a good time, son. I've come to hear more about the raincoat killer. Don't rush. Rushing on the battlefield will get you killed. If you don't want to die, son, you should you should be method metho Oh my god, I can't say this word. Methodical? Whatever. Well, even though that's a huge amount of scrap metal. Hmm. Son, you must be the only guy to see scrap when you look at those treasures. No, I see Zach sees scrap too. Look more carefully. Right here, just in front of you. That is what you're looking for. Hmm? Come on, a car! There are still plenty of parts that can be used. meth odd ick all I don't know. There's certain words I just I can't seem to get them out. Like, I can hear them in my head, but I can't, I can't just en enunciate them or something. Pronounce them. Enunciate. Oh, I guess the same thing. Pronounce them. Son, if you are ready to get your hands dirty, you should find useful parts for your car. What do you think? Okay, so we can buy a Lily's milk barn van or Nick's car. We're going to buy the milk barn van. And we're going to do his side mission. Let's do it. Now then, Spur young Mom. Boy, how do you feel about your current vehicle? My vehicle? It's a piece of crap, but I'm not here to talk about that. Then how about a little treasure hunt? Listen up, young man. My junkyard is actually a mountain of treasure. All kinds of treasure lies in those mountains of junk. The problem is, there's so many, I've lost track of where everything is. Oh, so many, huh? <laughs> You've caught on already. I can see it in your eyes. I need you to head out in the yard and find certain things for me. If you help me out, I'll customize your car a little. What are you talking about? Didn't I tell you to shut up and listen to your superiors? Why are you so mean? Now, will you do it or not? I don't see any reason to refuse. Well said. I, First, I I'll could need see some a reason to refuse parts. your... With that, I'll be He's able to boost butt. the engine of your car. You'll find one around E5. Go! Don't just stand there. Get going! Okay, okay. Uh, I usually say do the races as soon as you can because, I mean, you can get the, the trading cards because they're designed for you to be able to complete them, not even accelerating the the patrol car, uh, your normal patrol car. Um, actually, I don't know if that's true anymore with... No, I did it in my, I did it in my Let's Play. Yeah. So you can complete those without accelerating. So you can definitely do it before you get York's car. So if you can do it in the slowest vehicle of the game, no need to wait. You just have to be sure that you know the the route <laughs> so you don't run into things or get turned around. But it, it's definitely possible. So I, I like to get them out of the way just so I can get the cards and have them ready for when I meet uh, Wesley. <laughs>
Oops. Wrong way. If I remember correctly, uh, there's an observation York makes, but only in one spot here? About the cars? I think it's right here. <sighs> Your car might be here too, though it wouldn't be much use in the state it was in. I think that's the observation. Yeah. So I think this this part makes the car go faster. So I think I'll have a max speed of 65 instead of just 55. I think that's what it was. This is it. This will save your life someday, son. You sure know how to exaggerate. You imbecile. Engine boost is vital for bringing back soldiers alive from war. Engine boost? Of course. Engine boost is the basis of everything. Let me tell you a war story, son. I was leading my unit at the very front line. Things were bad, and sanitary conditions were worse. Endless guerrilla attacks were stripping us of our manpower. Everyone was tired to their limits. There was one sergeant who really rubbed me the wrong way. The boys like to call him Crybaby Timothy. He really gave me headaches, I can tell you. How? Just by breathing. I think you liked His him. He was bad. He was weak, slow, easily distracted. I have no idea who thought he was capable of combat in a war zone. He endangered the lives of every member of the unit. Stomach pains. The worst stomach ache ever. Every one of us. It was just cooking. He was using food that was contaminated. I flew into the dugout toilet like an Apache chopper returning to base. I have to tell you, it was a close call. My engine was boosting. And that's what got me there safely, right in the nick of time. What happened to the unit? You really want to know? It was a terrible sight. Powerful, athletic men reduced to walking dead. Blinking like crazy, shaking with pain. Their confidence and self-esteem were all crushed. They almost didn't recover. An interesting story. <laughs> so you see the need for engine boost now, do you? I'll keep my side of the promise and get to work on your vehicle. I like how he doesn't uncross his arms to get up. It looks so funny. <laughs>
That badge on him is for a sergeant. Looks like it was sewn on something else before it was sewn onto his shirt. I wonder what that's all about. I put in longer pistons and optimized your lower gears. That should add boost to your speed when you accelerate. But there's still plenty of stuff I can do to make your car go faster. Just come see me again and I'll customize your car a little more. Will do. I believe it changes both the gun and the, the skateboard. My uh, Joy-Cons are, are gray or whatever, so I couldn't really tell, but I know... I know some people who are using the Pro Controller, their gun turned purple, and their skateboard was purple, I think. So it, it changes both. Okay, let's go meet Wesley. Oh, and Sigourney! I forgot! We can also drive Sigourney home. <laughs> that should be fun. Is she over by Henry's house? Ooh, she's there. Let's, let's take Sigourney home because we get a card. So, where shall we go next? Hey, Sigourney. I'm glad you're here. My pot, it's getting cold. Please, let's get going. Could you explain what you're talking about? What are you rambling on about? My pot's getting cold as we speak. Hurry, hurry. Can you put it in a sweater Back, or something? I guess we're going to have to drive her home. But I wonder what happens when her pot gets cold. She gets really mad. Now, get the car going. My house is over by the lake. Three, two, one, go. say Sigourney really gets around she she ends up in these far off places it's like did someone give you a ride there and then leave you <laughs> oh yeah you know what mine started to have a, a, a drift too on the left hand one I ended up taking some rubbing alcohol and cleaning it around like top and the bottom. Why aren't we there yet? Oh, Could oops. you step on it? If we go this slow, my pot is going to get cold. Why aren't we there yet? Could you step on it? <laughs> I missed it completely. Slow, my pot is going to get what cold. the hell? <laughs> Fuck. There we go. <laughs> I'm back into it. Oh, thanks to you, my pot is still warm. I'm Whoa. glad to hear that. Don't get so excited, will you? Keep your voice down. You were the one that screamed earlier. Tell me a secret? The pot knows everything. Here's all. the person you are looking for. You need to look at things from a different angle. There is only one truth, but more than one is always visible. Like cooking a stew. Mix things in and wait for it to boil together. Just make sure it doesn't get burnt. And keep an eye on it. You have to gently mix it sometimes and wait until it's ready. Listen carefully. The best stew is a stew that is boiled slowly. Okay. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. She was. Oh are, you, my. are you thinking my of the the lady who Did took lots of to notes in so the plane? Long? That's who she reminds uh. me of. I forget the lady's name who was obsessively writing notes. Um, fun little fact: Sigourney is missing a shoe, and you can find it right here. Can I observe it? Someone left a shoe here. Very strange, Zach. So I think I mentioned uh, the previous stream that I think you're supposed to be able to go into Sigourney's house at one time because in a text dump that Frog Frog gave me years ago, there was an observation line that said something about Sigourney in a fireplace. So I'm, I'm really sad that you still can't, you can't see the inside of her house. You can't, you can't get into Fiona's apartment, Usha's house, Sigourney's house, um, Jack and Gina's. Yeah, I think that's, that's it. Okay, now that we have the cards, let's go say hello to Wesley. Get a few more side missions complete. So we have quite a large card collection now. <laughs> maybe the pot's her husband, maybe. Oh, in the background, okay. Can't say I noticed if, if she she was in the background. Wow, I'm sorry guys, I'm just <laughs> not with it tonight. I missed my turn. So, where shall we go next? Right here. Welcome to Panda Bear! It's very cramped. Oh, and of course, you don't see Wesley's house either. He, I assume he lives on the other side of that door. But he sure has a lot of weapons. And he just sort of leaves them out too. <laughs> All right. Hey, Wesley. How you doing? Hmm. I've come to see what you're selling. You have a really good reputation. Don't trust what you hear out there. Information can be totally controlled in this day and age. Got that right. I'm well aware of that. But I can smell the difference. It's important in my line of work. Information smells bad when it's fake. And my shop smells okay, doesn't it? Something like that. Wesley, do you take pride in your work? Guns are tools for killing. It isn't a job to brag about. But any job needs pride in it for it to be done well. That's what I think. A mixture of humility and pride. That's the way to be, all right. Looks like my nose was right, Zach. Okay. Oops. You've got quite a selection here. No wonder people come from all around. Compliments do nothing. I strive to meet my ideals. Others may judge my results. The words of a true craftsman. Your job must be your hobby. No, I have another hobby. You do? Aside from work. Tell me then, what is it? It's nothing special. Since I was a kid, I always liked to collect cards. Cards? Like trading cards? That's right. That reminds me. I got this one after I came to this town. Hmm. This is a precious one. Where did you get it? 
I picked it up around here somewhere. I didn't really think much of it. I see. Then how about a trade? A trade? Here's an idea. As a collector, I just love looking at rare cards. I'd love to take a look at the cards you have. I won't take them from you. <laughs> and I'll give you something, depending on how many you show me. You'll pay me just to look at my cards. You really must be a card freak, huh? Yeah, he's looking, he's looking for that Charizard. <laughs> you know what I never did, and now I'm kind of kicking myself? I wonder what happens, what he says, if you don't pick up any of the cards and then you go to meet him. Hmm. Probably, pro it probably just stays silent. And maybe York would say something like, oh, we've seen some cards around here. Oh, I forgot to check. Oh. I didn't think of that when I was making my, my Let's Play. Okay. Will you, you know, show me your cards? Maybe Wesley unboxes cards on Twitch. <laughs> of course. And he makes lots of money. He buys old packs of Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Digimon cards. and. You've got more than eight. I've never seen any of them before. I appreciate you showing them to me. Here's a little something, as promised. Thanks. A card of your face. If you find any new cards, come show them to me, will you? I mean, I, that's what I assume, Jim, because right from the get-go, there's a card in the first uh, Red Room sequence. But I just never thought to not pick up any of the cards. I'll, ha I'll have to check. I'll have to check. I'll let you guys know on Twitter. Hmm? Wait. Looks like you got a few more cards. Show them to me. Yeah, he never gets to see the swear card. Oh, no. He did in my first time through. Looks like you have more than 16 here. That's very impressive. I appreciate you showing them to me. Here's a little something, as promised. Hold on to it, okay? If you find any new cards, come show them to me, will you? I think I can get one more done. Hey, hold on. You got more cards. So in my first game, uh, one of the cards I collected got glitched on the 360. More than 32, actually. And it wasn't showing up How in my collection, so even many, though I, all at I got once. it. So to I complete his side mission, I had to go get Here's the swearing card promised. from the special menu to complete it. That'll give you more life when you wear it. He didn't say, he didn't say anything special. Hold on to it, special. okay? If you find collection. any new cards, come show them to me, will you? You don't pick up a red room card. Um, you, you, well, yeah, you'd have to to get it. You'd have to replay that chapter in a chapter replay, and then play the entire chapter, get your game to save, and then uh, you'll have it in your collection. So it's not impossible it, you'll just be forced to redo a chapter to pick it up again okay i think that's it all right wesley hmm. what else do you have to say the tools i sell here will do what you need them to do but you not them have to decide that role okay let's see what he actually hmm. has for sale let me see the menu <laughs> okay so if you if you neglected to pick up the submachine gun in the lumber mill, there's one for sale here. Lollipop, flare, bullets. So if you don't want to go through the trouble of doing the certain side missions to get the infinite like shotgun or um, submachine gun or or magnum, you could always buy a normal version from Wesley. Uh, every like chapter, I think. A new gun will pop up in the the inventory so i always recommend before you go f fighting the bosses at least buy the magnum from wesley which you can do through your toolbox all you have to do is select panda bear and this uh menu will open up and you can buy ammunition guns wherever there's a toolbox you don't have to go to it go to a store physically 
but I already have the submachine gun and I do have the map so I can do that uh, corpse tunnel side mission. Oh, thank you, Disco, for subscribing again. 21 months. Wow. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm trying to think. I have my note. Hold on one sec, guys. Let's see. I think... Uh... Okay, I can show you that. I can show you that. Okay, there's some things I can show you in the Galaxy of Terror that's interesting. There's nothing it seems in Swery 65. So let's go ahead and I have some, oh, I don't want to miss it. Okay, I'll wait, I'll wait to do the map side quests in the morning. So let's go over to uh, Galaxy of Terror. Actually, I don't need to drive there. I have my radio. Let's warp over to the Sheriff Department. <laughs> that is really good. Yeah. Whenever anybody, I often get asked like on Twitter if there's any tips I have and I usually tell the people, hey, there's a fast travel. You just have to do the side mission to get the radio. Cigarettes will pass the time because a lot of people don't realize that and they'll end up just waiting around or taking lots of naps to make the time go by faster and they don't realize they can, it's a, there's an easier way. And I tell them the time limits mean nothing. Go ahead and explore. Take your time. Take it all in. You're in no rush. Oh, and I also tell them to make sure to try to peep in windows when people are home. Because you can see some interesting things. Oh. Excuse me. Where's the sheriff department? Oh, wow, it's right there. Yes, I'm over halfway. I am so excited. I think I can actually make 5K this year. Okay, so let's go to the Galaxy of Terror. Oh, oh yeah, my car is parked back here. I really still think that they should have made peeping a part of one of the main missions just so you could see what kind of things you could see because a lot of times people just peep into a building and there's like no one home or it's not interesting and they just never do it again Starting the next chapter, York should have some more things to say. We, we exhausted them pretty fast. Oh, okay. So at 2350, you can see both Thomas and Nick arrive. So let's smoke. George is already there. Hello. Okay. Don't honk at me, Nick. Hi. Huh? I like how I still got money for that. He didn't say anything to me. Yeah, it's really sweet <laughs> to watch watch the the NPCs kind of interact with their families if they have any. Um, I like peeping in on Carol because you see a different side of side to her, especially when uh, people start dying. 
And don't forget, if you're peeping, you can just hit the shoulder buttons and you can warp to each window that you can peep through in a location. Yeah, when she when she drops off them off to uh, her uh, fathers, yeah, it's sweet. Okay. So we learn like in chapter nine about Nick going to the bar to converse with Diane. So once chapter eight start, the next chapter starts, um, and we. No, chapter nine. No, eight, eight. No, eight. If I if I run around, I can yeah, I can meet Diane in uh, in here. You could see him having drinks with Diane during the game, which is pretty cool. Which I'll I'll make sure to show. It's like it's like moments like details like that I should say that I really. It really makes me love this game because they don't expect the players to go and stalk all the residents of Greenvale, you know, just the weirdos like me, but they make sure to put it in their schedule that, hey, this character mentions that this character meets up with this other character during a certain time of, of day or night, so we got to make sure that they go to that location, even though most of the players won't even see them together until the mission where one of them dies you know I just like that how thoughtful they were hi George oh. mm -hmm. of all the things you could have told the town's pe town people you had to choose the raincoat killer I told you that was nothing but folklore Don't start with me, George. Just have some good food and hopefully that will get you in a better mood. Mood. I'll be in a better mood after we arrest the murderer. Okay? You're the one slowing down the investigation. Okay, I'll be more careful. This is my town. Don't forget that. Zack. Looks like the monarch has marked us as the enemy. Okay, George, uh, you are under the arrest for the murder of Anna Graham. Mm -hmm. Didn't you say you had to make a report to FBI headquarters? Go ahead and tell them that the local cops are giving you problems. Okay. Hi, Nick. Huh? Do you come here often? What's it to you? Nothing. You could tell a real pro by how they unwind. I just thought I'm beginning to see what makes you such a good chef. Great. Now go away. You put the whole town into a state of fear, and now we're all edgy and cranky. We are always edgy and cranky, Nick. People are doubting neighbors, not wanting to go out. Bad for business. You're a real piece of bad luck. I've learned... I've learned one thing, then, Zack. He's a deeper thinker than we thought. Huh? You're real bad luck, at least for me. Hey, man. What did I do to you? I did nothing. Carol. Hello. Look at that. Look at that strut. Hey, girl. <sighs> that was a fantastic song. I don't need your calculated compliments, which is misspelled. I'm not calculating anything, Carol. I'm just saying you have a wonderful voice. Did we hear the same singing, York? <laughs> well, thank you. Happy now? No, not quite. I'm trying to give you some praise, but you're only appreciating appreciating a tenth of it. 
This could be a problem, Zack. What do I have to do to make you believe that I'm being honest? Easy. Leave. If you really like my song, then get the hell out of here. <laughs> so hostile. Oh, what did I do to you, Carol? I just want to be your friend. <sighs> I've got nothing to say to you. You know, I could arrest you for selling... Actually, no, you're not actually selling. Thomas sells. Where is Thomas? Why isn't he in here? Oh, he's just in the back room by himself. Okay. Okay. So, now, uh, George is in the back room with Thomas. If you look in your... Oops. Map. They're together. They're going to the secret room during the investigation. <laughs> yeah. So they're going to be in here for a couple hours. I don't believe they come out until around 3 a.m. And when it's raining, George will go back there with Carol. So we try to ask Carol where Thomas is and she lies to my face. Where's Thomas? Does it matter where he is? I need to talk to him. He's my friend. We're gonna go clubbing one day. He's getting some sleep in the back. Well, I don't think he's getting any sleep, Carol. But you guys are still open, right? Things are always slow around this hour with so few customers. He'll be back from his break soon. Just leave him in peace for a while. So few customers. Do you agree with that statement, Zach? No. <sighs> Thomas is taking a break. He'll be back soon. All right, I guess I'm bartender. Let's see. Their selection of liquors is quite wide. You prefer coffee to beer or wine, don't you, Zach? What would you like, sir? Oh. Wow, you have some bags under your eyes. Okay. <laughs> oh, and this right here is a real movie poster for on a life. Uh, it's by Kenji Goda. It's a weird movie, so I've heard. Uh, ooh, let's put on a different suit. Oh, I didn't put that one to clean. On a life? A N A L I F E. And Carol's name is misspelled on her poster. <laughs> All right, so we're going to smoke until Thomas comes back out. I'll see if I can actually at some time catch George actually walking back there. I forgot that <clears throat> right after 12, he'd already be inside. And he starts walking to the back room, usually around like 1155, I think. Got to see what's on the menu. So Thomas needs to be back out here. Oh, wrong button. 
Hello. Thomas, you work as a bartender at night? Yes, well... It's my sister's bar, but she can't do everything by herself. Also, it's not legal for her to serve alcohol. She's only 20. How's business? Not great after, well, you know... But people are bouncing back. They're carrying on with their lives, slowly but surely. But I'm still finding it hard to work at the sheriff's. I feel so sad. Everyone deals with grief differently, that's all. Don't worry about it too much. Well, since I'm here now, anyway, how about making a cocktail for me? Uh, of course. I'll make something extra special for you, Agent York. Well, if you don't feel like it, we can have lunch another time. Okay, I don't think that was supposed to be there. Thomas? Yes? What? You cook, do you? Oh yes, cooking is a lot of fun. And even more fun when you're making it for someone else. I don't know of many men of the law that know how to cook. Who taught you? Well, for a long time I've lived with my sister. I see, so it's home cooking. This sounds better and better, don't you agree, Zach? That Hello. was not what I wanted you to say. Okay, hold on. Okay. <clears throat> so whenever Thomas comes back from the secret room, he always says some weird stuff. So I always kind of believe that maybe he's ingested the red seeds and he's kind of like on a red seed high when he's talking to York because he says some weird ass shit or he's just super tired. It could be that too. Agent York, you're not actually awake while you sleep, are you? Thomas, what exactly are you saying? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering, that's all. Okay, let's see your, uh... Hello. Okay. As gin and tonic, martini, exorcist... Pancakes, pizza, oyster stew, pumpkin muffin, mashed potatoes. All right, let's have a gin and tonic. Let's have two. Let's have some pancakes. Mm. Kind of a random food mm. to serve at a bar, mm. but okay. Mm. 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 Damn, Thomas pushing Carol out of the way. Hey, did you see anything new? No. Okay. So I think the next stuff I want to show is mainly rain stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. So after 12 a.m. until 6 a.m., the streets are pretty dangerous in Greenville. You got demon dogs and. Nice shot. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do the corpse tunnel side mission. 
It reminds you of the bar in Catherine? So I bought the map from Keith the last stream, and that opens up a side mission. Well, the marker in the tunnel. And it's a myth mission basically to get the unlimited submachine gun. Having a brain fart? Where am I? Oh, okay, I'm going backwards. Doggy. <laughs> oh, that's not where I thought I was going. Oh, you loved it. Wonderful. How is the, the new version of Catherine on Switch? I heard some people were upset about something in the new version of Catherine. I didn't look into it too much. Okay, this is the street I was looking for. Oh, the one that came with the pizza box and the bo boxers. I remember that. One of my friend, one of my friends had that. <laughs> Collector's editions for games are pretty cool. What? That was a strong zombie to flip my car backwards. What? Why can't I drive over that spot? Okay, let's do go on the other side. Game's being weird. This added a new love interest? Oh. That's a famous paranormal place they talked about. Maybe I should give it a shot. I don't know about you guys, but I was really disappointed when I got to the map locations. I'm like, this is nothing like the ghost story. Keith lied to me. Oh, 
Isaac. The reason I got backlash is because the new love interest was trans. It's kind of hard to say without spoiling the story. Oh. Okay. Oh, I can't even add it to my inventory? Okay. I should fill his life. Oh, I forgot to point out the so the suit we got from Wesley, it extended our health bar, and he gives us another suit uh, called Dancing All Night, and that will extend his uh, stamina bar. Couldn't think of the word for a moment there. First aid. There we go. Oh, and by the way, if you ever want to like get out of this mission, you can just go in that portal right there, and it'll take you back to the t the tunnel. So you don't have to finish this. So if you're 
getting your butt kicked and you, you just want to come back later, you can just go in there. I, oh, no. We still have another stage. I can't remember how many there are. I think four or maybe six. Aim at the barrel. There we go. Bullseye. Amazing. <gasps> Who shot at me? Oh my god! <laughs> oh man, they have a shotgun! <laughs> Oops. They're all packing! So every time you clear the room, you're all, you get like a little prize on this back table. <clears throat> just the four four levels you want to make sure to pick up your prize before you go into this portal or you will have to go through it all over again so now we have an infinite submachine gun Woo. Okay. okay so I need a ring a rainy day. But I don't want to go back to the hotel because that will end the chapter. <laughs> so let's go back. To my DLC house. What time do I want to get up? Let's see here. <sighs> okay. So I guess go to the family's house first.
Oh, wait. I should get the ingredients I need to complete Emily's side mission. Wait, unless I already did. Okay, no I didn't. Alright, so. Let's head over to the milk barn. Oh, I think I'll be able to catch... Uh, both... Uh, Dr. Usha and... and uh, Olivia. I couldn't think of her name. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the milk barn. Both there. Oh, and Lily's dropping off the kids. I should uh see if I can catch hey her. There. Good morning. You getting some things for your breaks like I am, Angel York? No, I'm in the middle of an investigation. I see, but don't you want to take a break sometimes though? A little breather? Don't worry, Esha. He's taking long breathers, like, days at a time. <laughs> He's not working. Or perhaps a game of chess with me? Sounds good. I'll call you when I'm in the mood, Esha. Well, I'll be waiting for you then. Oh, oops. My chair wheel is over my controller cord. One more thing. About the potato chips here. Don't tell anyone else about them selling the small bags, okay? My only source of food will dry up if you do. Um, hi there. Whoa, no, no. Hi. I was trying to talk to Usha. Hi, hun. If you'd like, you can come to the diner anytime. Thanks. Hey there. Don't you think this is a great store? It opens early in the morning and it sells potato chips. Isn't that most grocery stores? I don't like the way they decorated it much, but I like the owners. Hi there. Okay. Hey, Keith, I don't think you have the items I want. Hey, bro. York. That raincoat killer you mentioned in your speech? Someone's pulling your chain, man. That's just a fake legend, dude. I've heard that story since I was a little kid. Don't go into the forest when it rains, the raincoat killer will get you. That kind of stuff. But it's nothing more than meaningless legend. Oh, sorry, a meaningless legend. He doesn't exist. So, he couldn't be the one doing the killings. Right, FBI? Of course. The legend is simply a legend. It can't kill anyone. But a human copying that legend is. Yeah, I guess so. But why? It makes no sense. Hey, bro! It's going great. I'm a changed man after hearing your speech, FBI. I'm burning with the desire to protect my family now. You didn't have that burning desire before? Okay, hey, so bro. do you have the stuff I need? I don't think you do. Nope, I need your wife. Let's see if she's dropping off the twins. No, Olivia! No! I was first! Hi, Nico! How's it going? <laughs> I love that. I love that emote. <laughs> over Oops. a minute my analog stick wasn't working I'm like uh oh what did I do okay 
Oh, I have to go to probably Honest Tree. No, nope, it's there. Okay. I forgot I peeped into Jim's windows, so it's on his fast travel. <laughs> Rock and roll forever! Uh, too late. Okay, she already left. Okay, I forgot. I, got, I have to get here at like 7.30. So she must be on her way back. I'll just smoke until she's back at the store. Unless I can catch Jim. Is he at the river? Oh, wait, Lily hasn't even arrived yet. Where is she? <gasps> Ooh, okay. Okay, let's uh, smoke until... <gasps> I only have three left. Dang it, did it reset her? Okay, she's still in the same spot. Okay, let's go talk to Jim and pass some time, and then hopefully she'll be at the cabin. What do you want? Can we talk later? I'm busy. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna sh I'm going to uh, fish then, and then by the time I'm done, she'll probably be there. Are you kidding me? Come on, game. Thank you. You want to see him be impressed by uh, a grub? Wait, which stone was it? Oh, man, it's this rock. Uh. Found a supersized earthworm beneath a rock. You don't get these plump, these plump back in the city. I don't... Was that the thing I was looking for? I guess it was. I thought it was difference. Okay, whatever. Let's see if Lily's there. Hi, Axton! How's it going?
Yes, she's there. Okay, we can see her saying goodbye. For a snack, are you having pizza? Oh, I did that thing again where I'm, my head isn't inside the building. <laughs> I'm like in this void. Anyway, she drops off her sons. Come on, kiss them goodbye. Let me try reloading in. Let's try this one. Nope. It just is messed up right now. See? She pats her head, gives him little kisses. Sorry, the window's in the way. It kind of glitched. It's just really sweet. And you're like, bye, mom. <laughs> See, something that seems like that. Really fun. Okay. Uh, I can start the twins' side mission. I just need to smoke until I think ten, and then they'll be up on the hill. So let's go ahead and do that. And then Lily will be back in the milk barn and I can buy the items I need. Jim. <laughs> so you're taking a walk like this when you came across the body? That's right. Do I need to repeat all of this again? Why do you always ask the same things over and over? I'm just doing my job. Then you ought to find a new one. Someone has to do this one. Someone like me. Yeah, fuck off, Jim. <laughs> I'm trying to enjoy my walk. If you want to talk to me, think of the timing first. Okay, he's a dick. All right, hey guys. We saw someone. We really did. Isaac, Isaiah, what exactly did you see? Someone in the forest. Standing under Anna's tree. Not a goddess. A little different. A ghost? Yeah, maybe it was a ghost. Ghost? What makes you think that? We found this on the ground there. Would a ghost drop this? Let me see. It's blurry and out of focus. I can make out two people, but not their faces. So that's why they think it was a ghost. But then who was under Anna's tree? Um, yeah, I mean, he kind of warms up, uh, especially after you catch uh, Tabitha. Um, he's really impressed when you, when you do that, but it's not really until the epilogue where he's actually really kind of nice to York. <laughs> he's very stressed out during this whole investigation. He, he hates that 
York uh, keeps coming by to the twins and, and reminding them of these filthy c city ways. <laughs> I want to meet the goddess of the forest again. Anna, I want to meet Anna again. How can we meet her? Do you know York? You guys behave and be good little boys. I'm sure you'll see her again. Really? I hope so. <laughs> exactly. He becomes nice to York when he knows York's gonna leave. <laughs> He's like, oh, good riddance. Now I can be nice to you. <laughs> Let's tell mom and dad too. Okay. So, they're... <laughs> Okay, that's that's great, boys. Um, their side mission is really easy to complete. You just have to go to Anna's tree when Carol's there, and she's usually there around sixteen hundreds. Uh, what was it? Oh, I was gonna show the photo. Yeah, so that's a photo of. Um. Anna. That actually looks like Becky, not Carol. So it looks like uh, Anna and Becky, and uh, yeah, it's a blurry picture of them down in the secret room under the bar. I mean, it could, have been, it could be Carol, but it didn't really look like her. Okay, so let's go back to the milk barn and get my ingredients. Oh, wait, I think I can buy the other car, too. So, actually, let's go to Lissander's and get Nick's ride. I'll buy my ingredients, and then... I'll actually smoke until, like, 12, because then we can catch... Emily in Angie Diner, and then we'll have lunch with Thomas and them, and then at 1300 we should be able to see Carol. Oh, no, or is it 1400 Anyway, at some point we'll see Carol in the diner as well. <laughs> and you can see her tell York off again. Alright, let's continue shopping. Okay. So now we have the milk barn van and... Oh wait, do you say anything else? Okay, not really. So Nick's station wagon is pretty slow. goes up to 50. Hey Yellow Game Boy, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Okay, good. Lily's still... Oh, you know what? I have not saved. I should be saving. <laughs> In case my game crashes. I mean, it hasn't really crashed on me, so... Oops. No. But I think if I went on any further without saving, the game would be like, Oh, I need to crash now. You get to lose all that progress. Lily, hello. Hi there. Your speech at the town meeting. That was quite frightening, actually. I thought the raincoat killer was just a story. It is, at least the ver version you know. But someone is using the story to commit crimes. And that's a fact. We need to ignore the common threads and concentrate only on the reality. Above all else, you must look out for the ones you love. Yes, I understand. Hi there. Well, whatever happens, I just want my children to be safe. 
Please, catch this killer soon, hon. We're counting on you. Okay, yeah, I want to buy stuff. Hi there. I need the bag from Nick. <laughs> okay, put an item away. We can put away some weapons that I'm not going to use. Okay. there. Actually, I do need cigarettes. So once it rains again, we can complete Emily's last side mission. Uh, into oh, I can show you them eating lunch, and then we'll go over to the Angie Diner and we'll talk to Emily. Oh, she actually goes at this time. She'll go on her patrol. She should be over by the apartment complex right now. Yeah, I think so. Let me check. Yep. Oh no, it's Carol. Is she leaving yet? Wait, where is she? Oh my god, Emily, where'd you go? Are you here? No. Emily! I don't know where she is. Oh, she's just the... She goes there, she goes here. Oh! I don't know where she is. She disappeared. That is suspicious. Oh, wait! Is that her? No, it's Sigourney. Okay, I don't know where she is. Um, yeah. That, that is the only type of cigarette in the game. Sorry said in an interview he wanted to have different types of cigarettes and he'd like make a comment about them not carrying the brand he likes I think the brand he likes is the police ones he he smokes in the opening scene but yeah so I, I think I think he was able to do the multiple types of cigarettes in Deadly Premonition 2 because there's the ones that move time forward like a half an hour an hour uh, three hours it doesn't in increments but I actually prefer the one type of cigarettes, so you can just, you know, smoke and... Oh, shit! She's, like, standing right there! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> I'm like, where's Emily? <laughs> I'm just imagining Girk, like, freaking out because he doesn't know where Emily is. She's, like, right behind him. <laughs> oh, my God! Uh, I didn't... <laughs> of course, I didn't, like... When I was on the map, I didn't stay on the milk bar. <laughs> Yeah, wow, Whitney. Yeah. Hi, Emily. 
Okay, she doesn't. She says something more interesting when she's traveling or leaving the station. So I, I kind of missed that, I think. He usually has weird long conversations with her right when she's leaving the sheriff department. They're usually about movies. Uh, what was I going to do again? Oh, I was going to show you the peeping scene you could see with Lily and Keith. Okay. So they close up shop. For an hour. Oh, come on. And you can see them having lunch. Looks like they got hamburgers and a coffee. That's, that's it. They just chat with each other. But it's cute. And look, it's the storeroom without any boxes. All that work. Where to go? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'd say her cooking is, is scarier. At least she doesn't poison me while she's standing around. <laughs> She's almost just as uh, scary as Miku. Was it Miku? Is that her name? Miku? Yeah. <laughs> she kept scaring me in uh, Fatal Frame 3. Because I didn't expect her in the living room. Alright, so let's go to the Angie Diner. Hopefully I can catch several people there. And then we'll go to the department for lunch. Oh, you know what? I should also show before I, I try to sleep and get a rainy weather condition. The crew, like Thomas says an uh, interesting thing on his way to aging diner for the department um, dinner. Who's here? Oh, no Carol. Does she get here at... Where is Carol? Okay, she's still... There. What time does Carol get here? Does she not get here until... Oh, this is rainy. Actually, I guess I didn't take any notes for... Okay, here we go. Clear day. Oh, I can... Ex she gets up now. I can observe her getting ready. And she gets to the... Oh, 1500 is when she goes to the A&G. Ugh, I had the time wrong. Well, we can get Emily at least. So. Is, and Harry's not here. Where's Harry? Is this Harry? No, it's Richard. This is Harry. Okay, let's actually go to Carol's. We can watch her getting ready. That's like another peeping scene. And then hopefully when I'm done with that, Harry and Michael will be in the diner too, so I can talk to them.
I guess she just sleeps on that couch. You just went in there, Carol. Go get your food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it glitched. So she spends most of her time just kind of smoking in her apartment. But I wanted to show her getting her food. Come on. Is a croissant and she drops her food on the floor and steps in it yeah that's a glitch anyway yeah that's it she does a little bit more interesting things a little bit later in uh, chapter 11 okay hopefully I wasted enough time and Harry and Michael be in the ANG with Emily. Where? Damn it! Mr. Stewart, where are you? How are you? No, that's Quint. How are you all the way back there? You guys were almost... <laughs> are you guys driving back to the house? What the hell? Okay, fine. We'll just talk to Emily. I swear the NBCs do not want to behave when I'm streaming. That's the magic of editing. I don't think she would like Emily's bagel. <laughs> All right, uh, Angie. Mm, still out there. Well, let's talk to Emily. Hi. Hello, Agent York. Lunchtime. Can I ask you something? I eat here almost every day, and yet I still love Nick's cooking. Don't you think that's pretty impressive? His cooking, I mean. Certainly, that's very impressive. Most people get tired of eating at the same place pretty quickly. And if Nick's cooking has overcome this problem, then it must be truly amazing. I wonder what his secret is. If she thinks that the food here is pretty good, then there's nothing wrong with her taste buds. The mystery thickens, Zack. Is it his style of cooking? The spices? Or maybe it's the ingredients he uses? People seek answers on the outside, not on the inside. She's textbook example, Zack. Um, we were having a conversation, um, uh, Olivia. Emily, I was talking to you, and now you're just ignoring me. Hey, Olivia. Hi there. I've been thinking recently. Yes, Olivia? 
Maybe if we hadn't given Anna a job here, she wouldn't have been killed. You know, if the killer was a customer here. Olivia. There's no link between her death and her working here at the moment. And you can't blame yourself, even if there was a connection. I guess you're right. I just can't handle all this. Time will fill the hole in your heart. The most important thing right now is to keep it from becoming any bigger. I know. I know that. Thank you, Agent York. Hi there. Please, try to prevent anyone else from being killed. I would like to, but uh, York's track record isn't very good, Olivia. I'll do whatever I can to help. No matter how hard that may be. Actually, I think... Oh. Uh, Olivia? Hi there. I think her menu expanded? Oh, I guess it didn't. Okay. Maybe the next chapter will. Let's see if I smoke until... Hi, hi, no. Talk to me. Oops. <sighs> Mr. Francis York Morgan, you should try their best dish with apple and the gravy sauce. It's much more than a garnish and not having it will be your loss. So says Mr. Stewart. Okay. Uh, what do you say? Shit. Yes? Mr. Francis York Morgan, Mr. Stewart is in a hurry. Don't disturb us as we scurry. Oh. Dang. Too late. Well, they, they come back several times in the day, so if I miss them, I guess it's not a big deal. Oh, Quint! Hello. Yeah? Sally, Anna's mother, is kind of unstable, you know? Post-traumatic stress will do that to you. Exactly. So, she's not able to walk around too much by herself yet. And that's why I'm bringing her lunch and driving her around. That's very kind of you. Well, she's close with my old man, and I was friends with Anna. I mean, that's the least I could do for her, right? Yeah? Sally, I hope she gets over this soon. Okay, let's uh, go to the police department. And get lunch. I'll see you back at the department, Emily, for your second lunch. People say it's pretty good. I'm not really a fan. I'm not a fan of cereal, so I've never really tried it myself either. Actually, what's the weather? Light rain in the evening. Okay, good. If it does, we can do Emily's side mission. Hello. Uh, I go all out when I'm cooking for someone else. But I usually cut corners when I know I'm eating it by myself. Okay. Hello. Yes, I would. 
Agent York, have you ever eaten sushi? It's Japanese. Sushi? Yes, many times. I visit a sushi bar almost every day when I work in New York. I really like sushi. I ate it for the first time the other day. It does taste good, doesn't it? I believe it's a dish that even I could make. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tell us, like, sushi. no? <laughs> That's raw fish on top of rice, right? What the hell is there to really like about that? I don't see what's so good about it. Then it's, why don't you try it sometime? It's delicious, It really George. is delicious. What kind of topping do you like, Agent York? I think I like salmon the best. Me too, yes. Emily. A nice fatty piece of salmon is always nice. I like tuna too. Impressive, Thomas. But then I'd expect no less. Now, tuna is a great choice. Simple and plain, easy to eat. I like lobster best, I think. It's texture when raw is simply fantastic. Salmon, tuna, and now lobster? You eat all these raw? I can't believe it. There must be a more tastier topping than that. Oh, yeah? Well, what would work for you? Tell me, George, what kind of sushi topping would you like? Okay. Hold on a moment. <laughs> How about french fries and ketchup? Oh, disgusting. Um, I'd never eat that. <laughs> I take it you agree? Well, George, uh, how about pineapple? Well, there's a Chinese restaurant. Maybe there's a... Um, maybe there's a hidden Japanese restaurant somewhere. Or maybe she door dashes from the next town over. Still clear day. Oh my no. I just never Oh, same thing. Okay. Boop, boop, ba -doop. All right, it's thirteen hundred. Let's go bother Carol at A and G at fifteen hundred, and then talk to her at like sixteen forty-five at the park. Finish that side mission, and hopefully I can catch the twins when they're leaving, and I can finish up their side mission. Hopefully it will rain in the evening, and then we can finish Emily's side mission. Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> She's going meow, meow, meow. Start uh, calling her Amy from Amy's Baking Company. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, I was going to go to the agent. <laughs> Still so much to do today for both of us. Okay. Coffee. Fantastic. Do you always drink coffee here? Is there a law that requires me to answer that question? No legal obligations there. Then maybe I do, maybe I don't. So you don't want to talk to me 
with me unless you are legally obligated to. That's right. And if possible, it would be great if you could leave me alone too. Zack, some people like to enjoy their coffee alone. I have no obligation to talk to you. Right? Why won't you like me? Stop your food coming. Hi. Hi there. I've been thinking recently. Yes, Olivia? Oh, we already had this conversation. Okay. You want to see something creepy? Townsfolk are still here for the meeting. The meeting is over. You can go home. This actually startled me. <laughs> I came back in here to see if there was anything to observe, and I was startled when there was a bunch of people just in the theater. <laughs> Just staring at an empty stage. My my fight doesn't happen for a few more like chapters, guys. There's there's nothing to watch. Okay. Yep. <laughs> they are permanently there. I guess I assume people are not gonna come back in here. <laughs> Uh, it's not open before the, the town meeting. Welcome back, Axton. A sausage, egg, and cheese croissant. Oh, that sounds delicious. Double check on the time. I think it's. Oh no, she should be here at 1500. Oh no, no, it's Angie. Where why is she at the clear day? Oh the department Girl in jeans. Okay. I think it's sixteen hundred. Okay. <clears throat>
the hell is Carol? Why are you making me a liar? Oh, there she is. <laughs> okay, get your butt down here. I'm afraid if I smoke again, it will reset her. See, you're late. You were late. You better rush there. Come on. Do I have anything planned for October? No, not really. Not, uh... Maybe I'll play through the Life is Strange games in October. There we go. Hi, Carol. Carol. Wait. Around here. Did you see... See what? Oh, nothing. Just forget it. Zack, I wonder what she was looking for here. joking around or something <laughs> she's looking for love okay I'll, I'll give you your picture <sighs> is this your picture <sighs> yeah it is so what I thought I lost it somewhere Isaac and Isaiah picked it up I they guess found it is it her. Here. Really? Oh, it then I'll have to thank them for finding it. So this is you and Anna? What makes you think that? You've come all the way out here almost every day when it's not raining. You wouldn't do that just to look for a photo of someone else. Impressive. Is that what you want me to say? And you're right. That's me and Anna in the picture. Silly, isn't it? It's so blurry you can't really tell who's in it. So who took the picture? Who took it? Anna did. She wow. wanted a picture of us both together. You had to think I didn't about really that for a long so time. So she pointed the camera at us by herself while I was moving around. And that's what happens when you try to take a picture like that. She was always so silly and happy. She took so many pictures. She always printed a load of them and gave them to everyone. Everyone just threw them away. So what about this one? <sighs> You don't make copies of the blurry pictures, do you? We weren't even that close. But I couldn't throw this one away. I see. One last thing, then. Where was this picture taken? Where? Nowhere special. Anna's room. Oh, 
Okay. Thank you, Carol. Try not to lose your stuff anymore. I'll give you this as a thank you gift for getting my picture back. I don't want you thinking I owe you anything. Zach, did you hear that? Why would she say, nowhere special? She's trying to hide the fact that it was indeed a very special place. Also, I've been to Anna's room. It is not red. Okay. Okay, the twins by the falls. Stu. Yep. Someone in the forest. Someone, not a guise. A ghost? Yeah, maybe it was a ghost. I'm sorry to tell you that she wasn't a ghost. You met her? Who was it? Do you want to know? I want to know. I want to know too. It was Carol in the forest. I think she wanted to meet the goddess too. Oh, so it was Carol. Oh, Carol and Anna were friends. Does that clear everything up for you? Yeah, that clears it up. Thank you. I'm scared of ghosts, but not of Carol. Thank you. Good. We'll give you this. We can give you this. <laughs> I always love it how it cuts him off. We'll give you... <laughs> yep, it was Carol. Children's eyes are always so honest. It makes me wonder about the stuff we lose as we become adults, Zach. Oh, I don't talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't scared of Carol. Carol's weak. <laughs> Chew that. We'll talk later. I'm busy. Well, fine. Jeez. Damn, Isaiah booked it. He's like, see you guys. Hi. Uh. Oh, we were gonna see if I can get Emily's side mission. Is it after? I think after eighteen hundred. Let me double check. Yeah, 1800. Oh. Oh, it's probably too late now. I can show you I can show you Carol crying in her dressing room uh, next stream. Oh, it's not raining. You lied to me, game. Your username used to be Lorak1061, but then someone noticed it was Carol spelled backwards, but it got it as the name of an elf elven king in Dragonlance. So I was like, well, I gotta change that. <laughs> you don't like Carol. Let's uh let's bother Jim. He's having dinner. Oh, hey.
I like that even though uh, Jim seems to hate your... How did you guys warp back in here? We, we met outside. Uh, even though Jim hates York, he still lets him in his house. <laughs> <laughs> you eat at the same time every day? That's right. At my age, remaining healthy requires a fixed routine. That means decent, regular meals at regular intervals. You'll come to understand one day. That's the secret? That's the secret. Yes, this is the PC version. <laughs> Anyone can stay healthy if they live surrounded by nature. Okay. You're boring. That's a great drawing. A drawing of an old man fishing near a waterfall. Accompanied by two grandpa from Isaiah. The drawing is well balanced with effective use of perspective. Blue color used here is very appealing. And then you can see Isaac's picture over here. Yeah, a drawing of a smiling old man in the forest accompanied by two grandpa from Isaac. Dynamic use of colors here, especially green. Passionate use of green. Look how detailed his is. <laughs> it's like a blurry photograph. Okay. Okay, I'll try sleeping 24 hours and see if I can get the Rain. Oh, no. He is sleeping for days. Please be raining. <sighs> yeah. Oh, now I don't even have to open up the inventory because I have the weather doll. Wait. Oh, yeah, that I do have the weather doll, right? Yeah. So, because the weather doll is. When is it turned? Right side up. When it's right side up, or upside down, excuse me, when it's uh, raining, his life will refill slowly. And so when it's a clear day, I need to turn it right side up. And when it's right side up, the health bar will, will refill automatically. So now I know just by looking at his health bar if it's raining or not. Oh, I need to change my outfit. I can't go to Emily's like smelling. This is this is a, a momentous night. This is the last side mission we're gonna have with her. I gotta look nice. At least I don't have any flies. Okay. 
Let's give her- let's wear the suit that she gave me. If I never left my bed, it would get really boring. <laughs> He's like dying. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. It's refilling. You go to bed, then wake up, turn around, and go right back to bed. <laughs> Hi, Emily. All right. Whew. I have the other... Oh. What do you mean? We exist because criminals exist. Oh, I think we had this conversation before? Maybe that's why you exist. But not me. Then tell me, why do you exist? For the town, for the people of the town, and for myself. That's an interesting way of looking at it, Zach. Maybe I should mention this in my report? No. Whew. Catching criminals is not is only one part of the job for the police. That's what I think, anyway. What? Why can't I do her side mission? What the hell? Game? Isn't it okay? I guess I'll do it next time. I'll do it tomorrow. I don't know why it's not giving me her side mission. I think this might be the one where I can only do it after 20 something hundred. Wait, did I save it? Okay, I think it's saved. Ah. <sighs> She is very special, Axton. She could probably burn boiling water. <laughs> Emily has no... No idea what she's doing. Fire hazard, constantly. Alright. Well, that should do it for tonight. I will continue Deadly Premonition tomorrow night, starting at 8.30. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. Hopefully we can get through this chapter or finish this chapter and get through the next one tomorrow so i'll speak to all guys real soon have a good night